Imagine you're passing boxes to your friend on a conveyor belt. How long would it take for you to send all of the boxes? Well, it would depend on three things. How many boxes there are, how frequently you place boxes on the belt, and how long it takes for each box to travel to the end of the belt. This analogy is a great way to visualize the process of sending bits through a wire. We could think of the number of boxes as the size of the data that you plan to send. The frequency at which you place boxes on the belt is the bandwidth of your network, and the time it takes for a single box to travel the length of the belt is the latency. Let's use this analogy to visualize a networking problem. Assume that there are three bits that you want to send, and you have a one bit per second bandwidth, and that it takes two seconds for a bit to travel across the wire. Let's use our analogy to solve the problem. In this example, we're sending three boxes across the conveyor belt, and we're placing boxes on the belt every second. And it takes two seconds for a box to travel across the belt. Since we place these boxes on the belt once every second, and there are three boxes, the last box is placed on the belt at second three, and it'll take two seconds for that last box to reach the end of the belt. So it'll take five seconds in total for all the boxes to reach the end of the belt. Many people like to visualize bits traveling across a wire as water flowing through a pipe. While this analogy is perfectly valid, we felt that it's hard to map individual bits to units of water. This makes it difficult to visualize the frequency at which the bits are being sent across the wire, and it's difficult to see how the diameter of the pipe impacts the bandwidth. Therefore, we think the conveyor belt analogy is easier to use when solving networking problems. Let's move this to a real-world networking example. Let's say you want to send 80 gigabytes on a 10 gigabyte per second bandwidth network, and your latency is 200 milliseconds. How long will it take for all of your data to reach its destination? It takes eight seconds until the last bit is on the wire, and it takes 200 milliseconds for each bit to reach the destination. So overall, it'll take 8.2 seconds.